Wait, he's dead. Wait, he's dead. Dude. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you faces back to another pack of punch video where today we are going to be reviewing the DMR, the gun that has just been absolutely taking over Call of Duty. Everybody is absolutely in uproar about it. Nick Merckx, the no-neck man himself, has been saying that this gun is absolutely smashing everybody in Warzone. It is two shotting people across the map, one shotting them up close, and just causing havoc. So that got me thinking, with my series where we take a gun from nothingness to its max tier pack-a-punch and damage upgrades, what would the DMR be like in Zombies? If it's this good in Warzone, will the stats carry over and it be an absolute tank in this game mode as well? So that's what we're going to find out, ladies and gentlemen. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, Brain. More importantly, click that subscribe button, because together, the syndication are so close to 10 million subscribers. All you gotta do is click that subscribe button, ding down that notification bell, and together we will get the diamond plaque from YouTube. So without further ado, before we jump into this video, let me know what gun you want to see me maybe do next, and give me a thought. Do you like the DMR? Do you think it should be patched in zombies? And what improvements would you do to this gun? But with that said, let's dive into the video. All right, the DMR. I'm thinking this is gonna be a pretty good gun and be a one-shot... Yeah, there you go. A one-shot headshot up until quite some higher rounds, to be fair, and... Yep, I'm back with my insane missing. And I'm a little bit gutted because I haven't got the 35 round speed mag. But what's the default damage? 72 damage with a 198 headshot. Not bad. Like, you might be like, Tom, it's level one. And I know that, but hey, listen, let's compare it to the MAE2 sniper. That thing was absolute trash. The fact that something like this is already better on round one is saying something. Oh, ho, ho. round two, one shot headshot. Oh, it's not. Okay, so it's it's it's, it's, it's all right, but it's like, oh, wow, oh my gosh. I didn't realize I could rapid fire it like this. Bloody hell. I've got the faster rate of fire bar uh, barrel on it, but like, me. That's actually kind of hella satisfying. Oh my gosh. That rate of fire is really not bad. This could be a promising gun. All right, round eight. Can we one shot a dog? No. Oh, wow. Okay. Definitely takes a few shots to uh, kill a dog, but I have got dead shot daiquiri on, and it does absolutely nothing at this point. Let's see if we put one upgrade on the gun. Okay. Come on. Two. Three shot. Three shot kill with one upgrade. Whew. That's pretty. That's pretty disappointing. But I'm sure once we get a pack of punch going, I th I, I've got high hopes for this gun. I do. Do not let me down, DMR, all right? You may be ruining everyone else's lives, but not mine. You're about to be a good, humble friend. Oh, shit. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get a review of what this thing is like. Let's throw this over here. How many bullets is it going to take to take down this guy? Do you know what? As a non-pack-a-punch gun and only upgrading ones. I'm going to say that that's not that bad. For round nine, that really isn't that bad. Like, it isn't. And now it's a two-shot headshot. Okay. What about a ring of fire? So he's going to... Oh, my... Wait. Is he dead? No. It holds... Mate, it's not bad. Like, it's not bad at all. It holds its own ground with only one upgrade and it's not even pack-a-punched. This is where, at this point in my video, everyone's like, Tom, you say every gun's good because you've got it pack-a-punched by round, like, 10. Well, yeah, I simply don't, and it's a beast. Hey, I like. Very nice. All right, I'm going to go for a one-shot headshot on a zombie just to see how much damage we do. 549. Let's go for the next upgrade. Go away, you. Right, now I need another one. You're my new test subject. Ooh! One shot headshot! Oh! Oh! That's a bit of the sauce, that boys! Yes, the boy! Go on then! Mate, we can just shred through everything then. Oh my god. Do I just realize when we pack a punch this as well? It's gonna have even more ammo. Then the 35 rounds, which... The 35 rounds seems like a pretty good amount for attack rifle. 
Obviously, like, you can say the M16's attack rifle, and that gets absolute stonks of ammo, but... Oh. Very good. No, don't even tell me. It's a new year! Larry, we spoke about this. Right, let's go for a butt cheek shot instead. Only 144? Raptor 1 has an exfil window open, strike team. Call it in if you need to He jumped out. up and bit him in the buttocks. But it wasn't that good. Stupid Larry. Right, I feel like this is going to not be one shot anymore. Oh, called it. All right, so no longer one shot. And let's go for our first pack of punch on the gun. The Demolisher K14. Interesting name. I don't know if that's a reference to anything, but as you'd figure, huge increase in damage, like double. And we're one-shotting them. But you know what? Only 52 round mag. Like, obviously, clearly does a lot of damage, but compared to something like the M16, which I'm pretty sure you can get up to, like, 100 plus bullets in a magazine, like, you know, with all the max, you would think that they put, like, some sort of 100 plus mag on this as well. Like, it seems only fair. Unless, unless this gun's damage is, like, 10 times or 5 times, like, it needs to have the same amount of ammo. I think, I feel like that's just kind of a given. But we'll see how it goes, and uh, we'll let's put uh, an electric effect on it as well, just to see an ammo mod, just to see how that rolls. And we should have a big guy rolling up anytime soon, so we'll see how it is to take him out. All right, level 14, bring on the big guy. Look at that, he's not happy. He, he knows he's gonna die. I, th I really think this is about to melt him. I'm just trying to get rid of the individual zombies just so we can put some proper damage into him. Here we go, are you ready? Shredding time. Where's his health? Real. That's not bad. Obviously, it's like its recoil gets a bit crazy, a bit you know, like like horizontally and stuff like that. But yo, the DMR man, that's that's not bad. You compare that to some single shot guns trying to like take out a big guy, and it's hell on earth. Not bad. Not bad at all. And it's still a one-shot headshot round 15. Cool. Come on, let me upgrade it. There we go. Upgrade time. <laughs> Obviously, I shouldn't be too happy about, like, meet the soldier, big guy time. I shouldn't be too happy about it being, you know, like, time to give it an upgrade. Because it's like, you know, it, it's showing that the gun's kind of, like, got its drop off. But, mate, the fact that we're only just now going for another upgrade at round 18, that's huge. This has got to be a one-shot headshot. Yeah. 2,300 headshot. Mate, stonked. Also, aim down speed, wa like, walking time on this thing, even though I haven't got the highest, like, stock on it, is really good. Like, really good. Oh, I love it. All right, come on, big guy. You're going to dance with the devil down here. Let let's see how fast we're about to drop this guy. Let's go. Where is he? Shredded him. Absolutely shredded him. Absolutely shredded him. And I would have more, done more damage up close. Wow. Shredded them. Absolutely shredded. No bad. No bad indeed. One shot headshot. Oh yeah. I genuinely thought this gun was going to hold up so well and, like, you know, like stand the test of time. But if we can get an armored guy in front of us here, just watch how many bullets it actually takes. Again, we can still upgrade it and pack a punch it twice over. But if that's anything to showcase what this is going to be like at the later rounds against an armored zombie... This gun might actually become not viable. Unlike the, just the ground zombies, yes. But against the armored ones? Ah. Like the rate of fire and damage that you're doing to them armored zombies just isn't enough for it to suffice. Worried turtle, man. Worried turtle. We are now no longer a one-shot headshot. It's time to go for a pack-a-punch too. I wish, I do really wish that the, the pack-a-punches 
weren't just like, oh, yay, more, more damage. I, w I wish it was more along the case of like, it did something. You know, like single shot gun became fully automatic or, you know, something like that. That'd be amazing. Wait, is it just under one shot? Okay. I play on PC, all right? I don't have that auto aim, but like you console players. One shot headshot. I need one zombie on its own. That's not damaged. It's a one shot headshot. Bloody hell, that took too long. <laughs> hey, chat. Stop with the roasting right now. Right now. <laughs> no. No potato emojis. Turn off the aimbot. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, round 24. It is no longer a one shot headshot. Here we go. Tier three pack punch. Oh. Oh, bloody hell, mate. I thought I, like, straight up just one-shot that dog. I could actually have done. Come here, big boy. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, we shredded him. All right, what's it like against these guys with Ring of Fire? Wait, he's dead. Wait, he's dead. Dude. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Wait, let's throw this. Now, let's do what about without it. You ready? What about without it? Me. It's a one shot on the dogs. Let's go. Bro, it melts them. Leave a like rating if you think they should release Double Tap back into the game. But this time, what Double Tap does is shoot through twice as many zombies. I'm saying it right now. It needs to. Because the fact that this gun can only shoot, or any gun in particular, like even like a sniper rifle, can only shoot through two, look, two zombies at once is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Here we go. The last one has been collected. But here we go. Legendary tier five upgraded. Whoa. I just got a, I got a challenge complete there. Right. Is it one shot headshot? <laughs> no. No. It's not. I did say I didn't think it would be. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not a one shot headshot. It does 12,000 damage off the crew. Oh, oh, close. It does 12,000 damage off the crit, or it does 6,000 per headshot, which is really not bad for like the damage from a gun, but from a single fire gun, that's pretty bad. I think this is as far, I, I think this is as far as we can realistically take it to, to be good. Like now that we're fully, like we're fully kitted out, we're fully geared, like we'll get some more armor. We'd run upstairs the entire time because there's no way you can use this gun for the rooftop strat. Like, just, just, just no way. You can't use it for the rooftop strat. The only way I see this being viable is if you're running down there or you're running out here in the top spawn or near the plane. Because it's just not going to hold up. In all fairness to this point with this gun, I, I feel like I should give it a much more harsh, like, number... But I feel like for its fun factor and how much I've been enjoying it and how good it can be like, you one shot the dog. The armored zombies aren't really that much of a pain as they were in the early rounds if you get it, you know, pack a punched early on. Like, if I was to give this a, a straight up fair rating, it would be a six out of 10. Six out of 10 is kind of like my go-to. The fact that there's no like automatic like mod that goes onto it, I just can't understand how Treyarch wouldn't go. Oh, we're making guns uber weapons when you fully pack a, pack a punch. I'm like, why is it a single shot gun? Like, that makes no sense. Like, why not give it the full automatic? You might be like, well, maybe people want it to be single shot. Really? Like, re re oh! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not at this. This is my first ray gun of 2021. Next one. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, the gun sadly just doesn't perform at the higher levels like it should. If you are willing to ring a fire ray gun with it, like, you know, that nice little armor breaker achievement there. If you're willing to get your ring of fire using your ray gun and then just use the DMR because you want to use a single shot gun and have a bit of fun with it, then this is obviously clearly the, the gun for you with the insta kill. The hell did that dog just come from? It's a lot of fun because it's a one shot kill, like, just like any gun could be, but 
at round 30, this gun becomes pretty much, like, pointless. It becomes pointless. I'm thinking a 6 out of 10 is what I want to give the gun. But in reality, this gun is honestly a 5.9. And it, it's harsh. It's, it's harsh. Because, like I said, it is fun. But in comparison to the other guns and all that sort of stuff, I think a 5.9 is more than fair for this. It's fun for the early rounds, but to get to the later rounds, it is just not it. If, if you were to really, really honestly give it a review of what it's like, you would say, okay, up until round 30, it's a 6 out of 10. And then anything beyond then, it becomes like a, a 4. All right, here we go. The final test for the Demolisher K14 is what is it like on an X-Fill? I'm thinking absolutely god-awful. But hey... Who am I to judge, all right? Who am I to judge? I got no ring of fire. Like, none. Better aim for the, these guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need the monkey to... Oh, God, that, like, did next to nothing. That would do another one. Oh, ring of fire. Okay. Quick. Okay, ring of fire. All right, let's go. Everyone try and climb up. Only 10 left. That's not bad. Now, as long as the big guy doesn't appear, we might be all right. Interestingly enough, um, no big guy turned up and it turned out to not really be much of a problem. Damn. I'll take it. But there we have it. The DMR. I've said it a million times over. It's absolutely ruined Warzone. And in Zombies, it hasn't ruined Zombies in the essence of it's a gun that's randomly appeared, come out of nowhere, and he's just this god tier gun. No guns will ever be able to stand up with things like, you know, the ray gun, the shockwave, or even so much as the M16. Like, I put the M16 so up there just because it's so incredibly good. And when I did my 115 run with that gun, I didn't realize how good that gun was. But the DMR, like I said, I'm going to give it like a 5.9 up until round 30. Because it's fun to use, it still does quite a bit of damage. But when you get to that point of the zombies being like, getting towards their like, maxed health, you know, round 40s, that sort of stuff, the gun just be kind of comes useless with a ring of fire it is a lot of fun but truly put it just falls off too harsh and there's no way to bring it back to make it good so to kind of meet in the middle as an overall score for this gun i'm gonna give the dmr a 4.5 out of 10 yes it's very harsh yes i had like a lot of hope and i was very optimistic for it but the fall off just makes this gun not viable to use. If you're running with your friends, having a bit of fun up until round 30, perfect gun for you. You'll have a laugh and it's great fun. As long as you've got a trigger finger, you'll be rocking and rolling. But alas, the DMR is not the absolute god that it currently is in Warzone in Zombies. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, right, and click that subscribe button and leave a comment down below of what gun you want to see me max out next to showcase how good it can become in Zombies. And more importantly, if you guys want to see me killing the zombies live, you can tune into my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash syndicate. Links down in the description. I stream every Monday to Friday, 10.30 a.m. till 7.30 at night. If you're killing zombies, playing Minecraft, or doing whatever the hell I feel like. So make sure you tune in there. Make sure you click the subscribe button. And together, we will get to 10 million subscribers. And the syndication will finally get a diamond play button for this channel. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. And adios.